So let's talk about jump cuts in HitFilm Express. What is a jump cut? Well, when you've got somebody talking on camera, whether it's yourself or you're interviewing somebody for your video, they are invariably going to make mistakes. They're going to repeat themselves and they're going to say things which aren't relevant or concise for your video. So you're going to want to cut all that stuff out and just use the stuff that's relevant. But what happens when that stuff is gone? Well, it makes gaps in time in the video and you get a visual jump as we jump from one point in time to another. Let's take a look at an example of that in this clip of Jai when he's talking about snowy plovers. He repeats himself a little bit. Eat is something called a sandfly. Sandflies. So he repeats the word sandfly here. So we're going to take that second repetition out. So the first thing we need to do is move the playhead to the precise point where he's finished saying the word sandfly the first time because that's the one I want to keep. So I'm going to use the key J here to play the clip backwards and then forwards again using L uh, until I find the precise point and then I'll use the space bar to stop the playhead exactly where I want to cut. There, so I've used space bar, stopped the playhead and now we can use what's called the slice tool which you can select over here or you can use the C key to select it and now clicking on the playhead you see it turns red we can cut that clip into uh, precisely that frame now I'm going to press spacebar again to find the precise point at which we want to cut the repetition out we're going to play through this second part of the clip that we've created Sand flies. Okay, so I've pressed spacebar, but I've gone a little too far. So now I'm going to use the period and comma keys to move the playhead one frame at a time in, to find the point at which Jai's mouth is closed. So I'm going to cut it around there. So I can now either use the slice tool again with C, or if I undo that, I can also just use the arrow tool and select the end of the new clip and just bring it down back to the playhead. You'll see we've still got the audio, so we need to do the same thing to the audio as we've done to the visual part. So again, we're going to use the slice tool, then we're going to move the playhead to where we cut it to begin with, and the slide, we're still on the slice tool, so click again. And now I can select that part of the clip and just delete it. And now we've got to make up that gap and put them together. And now we've created a jump cut because if we play through this straight cut, something called a sand fly, and audibly the story still makes sense, but there's a jump in the video fly. because we've removed a little bit of time and Jai has moved a little bit in that time. So whether or not you use jump cuts in your own video is entirely up to you. They're becoming more and more acceptable due to the proliferation of vlogging videos on YouTube. But unless jump cuts look intentional and part of a stylistic choice, they can look rather amateurish. So how do we cover a jump cut up if we want to? Well, in this instance, we're quite lucky because Jai happens to be talking about something that we have relevant B-roll for. So let's go and find a shot of some sand flies. And here one is. I'll bring that on and we'll put it just where we make the cut. We could also bring it earlier, but this time I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because we don't need all of that clip. I'm going to make it about half as long. And you can see by bringing on the clip, we've actually interfered with the audio again. So I'm just going to undo those two. I'm going to bring it back and this time I'm going to make sure I put it on the video track one or I can make a third video track by pushing it up even further. In fact, I'm going to do that. And having it at this red line here tells me I'm putting it where I've made my jump cut. And now I'm just going to reduce the length by half. And I'm also going to unlink the audio and just get rid of that audio track because there's nothing on it anyway. Now I can bring that down onto the second video track without overwriting what's on the second audio. So now if we play through. What they like to eat is something called a sand fly. And those sand flies. Now with the B-roll in place, no one will ever know that we've cut something out of our A-roll.